Hi, I'm Sarah, and I've spent the past five plus years as an engineer building software applications for businesses across various industries. Today, I want to walk you through how to develop a mobile app using an example project we'll call QuickBite. This app allows users to pre-order meals from local restaurants and pick them up without having to wait in line. While we'll be using this example to keep things digestible, the concepts I'll cover can be applied to any business app idea. We'll explore everything from idea generation to research, design, development, testing, and even marketing strategies. And if that sounds like a lot of steps, remember that hiring freelancers on Upwork can assist you at every step of the app development process. You can also book consultations on Upwork for personalized advice about your specific project. The first step in building an app is to have a unique and well-defined idea. A clear concept saves time and money by allowing developers to focus on key features, helping you accurately validate your business in the market and identify growth opportunities. For example, our app idea QuickBite solves a specific problem for business professionals and families who want to save time by pre-ordering meals. It's important to understand your target audience and their behaviors, like how often they order takeout or need quick dining solutions. Next up is research. You need to understand what's already out there. Look at apps like Uber Eats and DoorDash, but note how QuickBite focuses solely on pre-orders and pickups, carving out a niche that competitors haven't fully tapped into. During your research, you'll also need to decide whether your app will be for iOS, Android, or cross-platform. This choice impacts how you develop your app, so it's a critical part of competitive analysis. Make a list of competitors, the features they offer, and note any differences in how these features are implemented on their iOS versus Android apps. You can then zero in on your app's competitive advantages, like, for example, partnering with small local restaurants to offer exclusive pre-order options. Once you've done your research, it's time to outline your app's core features. For QuickBite, this includes includes restaurant listings, menu browsing, pre-ordering, scheduled pickups, and payment integration. Make sure your features align with your users' needs. Real-time order tracking, for instance, could be a big draw for users who want to know exactly when their order is ready. At this point, you'll want to create visual prototypes or mock-ups. Tools like Figma are great for this, and you can also take advantage of AI tools or hire a designer on Upwork to help speed up the process. The goal is to make the app as user-friendly as possible. In QuickBite, this means having a clean, easy-to-navigate interface with simple buttons for ordering and scheduling pickups. By now, you're probably eager to start coding, but before you begin, you'll need to take security into consideration. Plan to use third-party APIs and strong authentication methods to reduce technical overhead. By offloading some of these responsibilities that aren't relevant to your core business services, you'll save time and have peace of mind that your app stays secure. And once your app is live, you'll want to consider routine security audits, which you can easily outsource to Upwork freelancers. Now, let's get into the actual development process. First, you have front-end and back-end development. The front-end is what users interact with, the menus, buttons, and ordering system. The back-end will handle things like managing restaurant listings, order processing, and user data. For QuickBite, I'd recommend using React Native for the front-end programming language because it lets you develop for both iOS and Android with just one code base. For the back-end, you'll need a database, something like Postgres, MongoDB or Firebase would work to store all your restaurant listings, user profiles, and orders. You'll also want to build an API, Node.js would work well for this example, that lets the front end communicate with the back end. If your app needs real-time updates, consider using Firebase Real-Time Database or Socket.io to handle order status and pickup times. And remember, agile methodology is a great approach for app development. Breaking the project into sprints allows for rapid iterations based on user feedback. Testing is key for good code quality and early bug detection. You'll want to run several types of tests, including integration and unit tests to make sure all functionality and features work, compatibility tests to ensure the app works across devices, and security tests to protect your user data from vulnerabilities. The more testing you do, the more you future-proof your app from issues that could arise down the road. 
User testing is also essential before launching. Invite real users to test the app in beta, gather feedback, and make improvements based on what they say. After launching QuickBite, you'll want to continue gathering feedback through surveys, app store reviews, and by monitoring user behavior metrics. User feedback helps you identify issues and refine features to make sure you're meeting the needs of your target audience. Now it's time to launch. Submitting your app to the Apple App Store and Google Play requires meeting their guidelines. You'll need to create developer accounts on both platforms and compile your app according to each platform's requirements. Make sure your app is bug-free, complies with App Store rules, and has the necessary privacy policies. For Apple, you'll follow the App Store review guidelines. And for Google Play, check that you're compliant with developer program policies. Once QuickBite is live, it's time to market it. Social media campaigns, local promotions, promotions, and partnerships with restaurants can increase our app's visibility. Consider launching on platforms like Product Hunt to generate more buzz. Don't forget that post-launch, your work is not over. You should regularly push updates to keep your users engaged, such as loyalty programs or new features to improve their experience. As your app grows, you'll likely need a development team to continue enhancing it. Upwork is an excellent resource for finding skilled developers, designers, and marketers to support your app's growth. Outsourcing this work allows you to stay focused on scaling your business. To recap, we've covered how to generate app ideas, research your competition, outline features, design mockups, build and test your app, and finally launch and market it. If you're developing an app like QuickBite, Upwork offers specialized freelancers to help with every stage from design to backend development to digital marketing. And if you need personalized advice, Upwork's consultation services allow you to book one-on-one -on -one sessions with experts who can guide you through complex challenges. If you're ready to get started, hire freelancers, book consultations, and use Upwork's project management tools to bring your app idea to life, and you'll be well on your way to a successful launch.